Okay, while Bed Bath & Beyond struggles, a foreign truck model is seeing some major success on America's farms and back roads. Kelsey Kernstein is live to show us why these Japanese mini trucks are so popular right now and how they prove the bigger isn't always better. Good morning. Good morning, Mitch. Well, these Japanese mini trucks are becoming increasingly popular in the United States. And it's super interesting if you look inside they're a right-hand drive vehicle. There is no air safety bag in the front seat, though. But if you look in the back, now it's just like a pickup truck, but quite a bit smaller. Three sides actually roll down. This was made in Japan. They're called K-trucks. But there's two main reasons. Like, what is the fuss about? Why are Americans buying them? There's two main reasons. One of them is that 25-year import law in the United States, that now people can import these because they were most popular in Japan back in the 1990s. So now people are importing them into the U.S. and they are now using them for personal use. That other reason is because farmers are finding them useful. They're also useful in country and rural areas. They can be driven on highways, unlike gators. They're also very lightweight. They have heat and air conditioning, and they're also very affordable. So on average, speaking to the owner of this dealer, they cost about $4,500 just to have them imported here. Now, if you want the bells and whistles, you want this thing to be painted, you're looking at about $8,500. Now, here's the fun part and interesting part. So a lot of first-time buyers are actually coming to this dealer to buy one of these because it's like a hobby to fix them up. Mitch, Adrian. Hey, Kelsey, I'm noticing that that's a manual transmission uh, and it's on the right side. I, I think I'd pay money to watch you yeah. try to drive that thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a good driver already as it is, so I'm not even going to give it a shot. All right, fair enough. That's Kelsey Kernstein live for us. Do you know what uh, the baby boomer generation calls a manual transmission? A millennial anti-theft device. Oh, you know what? I can see that. Yeah, you know I can't drive a I manual. I don't know how I'm to drive I'm not just making fun of Kelsey. I can't do it either. I don't know how to drive a stick. I never learned. Don't want to. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.